Hello and welcome to today's 10 minute yoga and stretch routine. You won't need any equipment today, but if you do have a mat, this is one of those occasions you might like to get it out to use it. So we're gonna do a little bit of warming work. We're also gonna do some relaxation. This 10 minutes is gonna fly by. Um, so let me start by getting you in a nice, comfortable child's pose position. So take your knees as wide as you need to, and then we're just gonna slowly lower ourselves down until we're resting our forehead onto our mat or onto the floor directly. And we're gonna reach our fingertips ahead of us. Let the fingers spread. And try and find some ease so don't get too tense. I know sometimes it can feel difficult to sit back on the heels. If you need to have a little bit of support, you can pop a pillow or a jumper or a blanket underneath the sit bones just to give you that little bit of bolster. And if you can't get your head all the way down again, you can just pop something underneath so that you don't feel too tense in this position. And we're gonna Focus the attention onto the breath, taking a nice, slow, deep breath in. And slowly out. Really try and focus on bringing the breath deep down into the belly, breathing in. And out. One more time, slowly breathing in. and out. Just letting the tension flow from the body. We're gonna bring it into tabletop four point kneeling. So we're gonna come up onto all fours, bringing our shoulders over our wrists and our hips over our knees. And just start with a little rock back and forth, maybe side to side, just noticing how your weight shifts. And what we wanna do is create a nice balanced center, so think of your midline. Making sure you're not too far forward or too far back. And then when you feel like you're in balance, we're gonna use the breath to move through cat and cow. So take a big breath in, gently lift from the center of the back, let the chin tuck. As you breathe out, we're opening up through the heart space, we'll be looking forward and we're reversing the position of the spine. And then again, tuck, just allowing your body to move as much as it feels it can today. We're not trying to force it any further than it wants to go. Just giving it time and space and using the breath to release. One more time. And then coming back to tabletop. We're gonna tuck our toes underneath and we're gonna send our hips up into the air, downward facing dog. That's it. And we're gonna just allow one leg to lengthen before the other. Pedaling through before we get into our position of hold downward facing dog. So we're lifting the hips up high, we're gently pushing our heels down towards the floor, pushing the ground away with our hands, eye gaze to toes. Give it another breath. Inhale, three-legged dog. So the left leg is coming up off the ground and then we're gonna step it through. In between the hands, drop the right knee down helping that foot around and through if you need to. If you can't quite step through, that's no problem at all. So now our right knee is down, our left foot is forward, trying to keep the heart space lifted. You're gonna feel that stretch coming down through your right leg. Take another breath here. And we're going to slide our left foot across into sleeping pigeon. Now, if you cannot get yourself into this position, you can take it over onto your back, 
bring the knee up and across the body. So if you're now with me here and it still feels like you've got further to go, just gently lower until you can rest your forehead either onto your hands or directly onto the mat. slowly taking that breath deep down into the belly. Taking another breath in, we slowly bring ourselves up, tucking our right toes underneath, hips come up into the air, releasing the left leg to go back into downward facing dog. So we're going to take a breath in down dog before we do the same on the right side. Let's take a nice big breath in, lifting the right leg up into the air, stepping it through in between the hands or giving it a helping hand if you need to, dropping the left knee down, leaning forward, opening up the heart space. By the end of this 10 minutes, you're going to really feel like your lower back, hips, and legs have just opened up and released some tension that you might be feeling. One more breath before coming into sleeping pigeon. This is the point if you need to take it onto your back. Please do, if not, just sliding that right foot across, lowering the knee down, and then taking it as deep as feels good for you today. Trying to release the tension from the head and just letting the hip open. Just focus on your breath. slowly bring ourselves up and we're going to bring that left and right foot together letting the knees hang out to the side sitting up nice and tall take a nice deep breath again we're going to feel the opening up through the inner thigh. Don't force it until it's painful. You just want to feel the structure. In fact, if you need to support the knees, do. But just trying to keep as much length through the spine as you can. And then we're just going to straighten our legs out in front of us. Toes up to the sky. For some, that might be enough. You may already feel this going down the legs. And if that is the case, just continue to focus on the breath. Try to sit up nice and tall. If you feel like you can take it a little bit further, on your next exhale, just sliding it down towards your feet. And then just holding it there, starting to notice what releases as you do this. One more breath. And then you're slowly going to bring it up. And then once you're in that seated position, we're going to start tucking the tailbone. And very slowly, we're going to start lowering ourselves into corpse of asana. Once you feel your body fully in contact with the ground, try and release the arms, legs, head. Just let your body fully sink into your mats or the ground. Any 
to hold the tension. Should you notice any tension, just try to let it go. And I'm just gonna leave you here, Corpse of Asana, for as long as feels good for you today. Thank you for joining me for this 10 minute yoga and stretch workouts. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do like the video, let me know that you've done it. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel.